And the sauerkraut is ready, y'all. I'm up in the middle of the night. I just came in here for a taste test. It is delicious. I'm gonna have to get another spoon so I get some of the green. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what it is looking like. It is ready. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. Hello everyone, welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today I am going to be planting some strawberries in my Dollar Tree Stackable, and I'm also gonna be planting the potatoes that I purchased from Family Dollar. I'm gonna be putting them in a tote container. So let's get started. I am so happy that my strawberries arrived today. And usually when my strawberries arrive, I usually take my strawberries out and place them in some water and let them soak. This is what those bare root strawberries are looking like. But I decided to do a little research and there is uh, like 50-50 on whether you should place them in water to soak or whether you should not. So I decided to be on the not side. I'm not going to soak them because I'm going to be watering them in. It's going to be raining. It is about to rain any minute. It has been raining most of the day. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to amend my soil. I think I'm supposed to have 20. So I'm just going to amend my soil because I don't have enough to fit into all of these containers. But I'm going to go ahead and do the ones that I have. I'm going to use some of my Joe's Organic Fertilizer. All-purpose granular fertilizer. It smells really bad, y'all. I'm just going to put some in to my containers. And all I have to do is 20. Okay, I'm also going to add a little bit of my bone meal. Just going to add a little. Just going to mend this soil. You all know in some of these containers, I already placed some of the soil acidifier. And we're going to go ahead and get these strawberries ready for the growing season. So from for the rest of the season, the only thing we'll have to be putting on them is some fishy emulsion and some more bloom. I will be adding my more bloom as the season is about to change, and I'll be having plants that will have blooms on them. I will be adding more bloom back into my fertilizing schedule. And I'm going to add a little bit of the blood meal. Got some burpee blood meal. So now we've got our nitrogen, our phosphorus, and our potassium. We have covered all our bases with these strawberries. I'm gonna sit these on the ground so I do not knock them over. At least if I knock them over there on the ground, they won't have so far to fall. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my little shovel and kind of work them, those uh, amendments into my soil. Cause my soil has been getting rained on and it's become a little compacted. We have been getting a lot of rain and the plants are loving it. Y'all, these plants are growing so fast. I am loving coming out here 
from the morning to the evening and seeing how much the plants have grown. So if you have something that you want to plant and it's not um, too early as far as your uh, last expected frost date is concerned, this is a good time to plant it because things are growing outrageously. I am loving it so much. There was a tree that I saw that didn't have any blooms on it this morning and I came back out this evening and it has bloomed so yeah those um that i am so excited about it seeing how my cabbages and everything are growing and um it's just time to just start harvesting and putting some all these brassicas that you can your uh cauliflower and broccolis getting them uh in the freezer because I am not a weather lady, but y'all, I do think that we're going to have a uh, short spring, that we're going to practically go from winter to summer. And so I, I'm not holding out too much for these uh, brassicas. As far as planting a lot more brassicas, I could be wrong, but I just don't think that there's going to be a whole lot of time to grow a lot of new brassicas. So don't don't go and not plant your brassicas, you know, but um, go ahead and plant them because it can go either way. Because I still have some that are growing from the last season. So I'm still, I'm going to enjoy them and they are still alive. Some of them are starting to go to seed, but a lot of them are not. So I think I still have time to work with these brassicas that I have. And so I'm going to enjoy them. I still have some that are growing because I'm looking at some lettuces and stuff that are growing right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, y'all, it is going to be just uh, straight to the chase. I'm going to just pop these roots in. And I'm going to be sure to leave my crown sticking up. These are your crowns. This part that you see right here is your crown. This is your root. I'm going to pop the root underneath the soil in this hole, being sure not to cover the crown because if you cover the crown, you will not get any fruit. That is one thing about the um, plants that have crowns. If you cover that crown, you won't get a fruit. The same way on the asparagus. I'm gonna leave it sticking up. And you all, I told you, I will be covering these uh, strawberries this season to keep the birds from eating them all. I hear them singing in the background there. She putting in strawberries, y'all. We're going to make sure that we get some strawberries this season. Now, last season, what ended up happening was my chickens ate my strawberries. They not only ate the strawberries, they pulled them out of the ground. They totally destroyed the plant. They didn't know no better, though. Those, those are my chickens. You know, they, they just did not know any better. Okay, we're going to get this done. I don't know. I'm trying to see if I got more than... Um, you know, I'm always trying to see, did I get an extra? Don't matter if I didn't, but um, it would be nice if I did. And so far, most of these strawberries are looking pretty good. I and mean, strawberries like to have a fluffy soil. So this soil is nice and fluffy, so they should be happy in this soil.
I'm gonna come around to this side. I'm looking at broccoli that I'm about to step on, y'all. I'm gonna harvest some of this broccoli today, too. I'm gonna harvest some broccoli, and I'm also gonna harvest some Brussels sprouts. Uh-oh. Pulled off one of my little strawberry tops. I wanted to get you all just a little close so that you can see how I am planting. Just making me a well in there and getting one of my plants. And then making sure that my crown is going to be above the soil. Stick the roots in and bring the soil back in around. I'm just going to put one in each one of these containers. And then we'll go back and plant it. Just a leaf. Okay, so obviously I have more than 20 because 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, this would be 21 right here. So I have uh, filled up all of these and I still got some more over here. Like I'm gonna be planting some strawberries in some other areas. I'll find a spot for all of them. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of the fertilizer because I did not have any in all of these spaces at the bottom. So I didn't think I was gonna need it because I didn't think I had plant all of these. Well, I'm happy that I have enough for all of these containers. I'm just going to start scratching them in. Sometimes it get a little hard to not cover the crown, but you just gotta be careful to not to do it because you want fruit. That's why you're planting these strawberry plants. You want to get fruit off of every one of them. So what I'm doing is kind of moving the um, crown up and just separating it from the roots. And then sticking those roots in the hole and covering them. 
and making sure that my crown is not covered. I'm pushing soil up around it, but not covering it. That is very important. work my amendments into my soil because you, you do want to make sure that you get your roots underneath the soil okay so I have gotten them all planted and I decided the ones that were left I planted them in another container this is a container that I planted them in and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to mark it I got my label right here, it says strawberries. And I also have one for the Dollar Tree Seconds. Although I will remember what they are, but just in case I send someone else out here and tell them to go to the backable to test the strawberries, then they'll know because it will be late. Next, I'm going to be planting some Yukon gold potatoes that I purchased from Family Dollar. And this is what my seed potatoes are looking like. Paid $2 for those at Family Dollar. There are three Yukon gold seed potatoes in this container. And I'm planting two containers. So I'm going to be putting six Yukon gold potatoes into this container. Add some of my fertilizer. And some bone meal. Work this into my soil. digging me six small holes to place my potatoes in. I'm just going to place the whole potato in there. And placing them with my chips facing up. Bring my soil back up around them. And potatoes like sandy soil, so I'm just adding some sand in here. But I also have some of this sandy cow manure and compost. Right here. This compost cow manure is very sandy so i'm going to add some of this on top it's very heavy too it's heavy you can feel the sand in it because it is very heavy so i'm going to put some of this in on top
And that's just more amendments for the saw. Get these sticks out though. And once we notice that these potatoes have started uh, bursting through the soil, when it start, we start seeing the plants coming through the soil, then we'll come and we'll add more compost. So this is compost and cow manure, but we will add more potting mix and compost. So I think that's gonna make our sand be, uh, our soil be sandy enough. And I'm gonna go and add some of this to some of my other potatoes. And I will be adding it with other potting mixes because this, that is very heavy and we want these uh, potatoes to have some light soil to break through. Let's see what we're planting in here. And see, just like I have some soil right here, this is just some extra potting soil that I have on hand. I can just take some of this and just put in here. You want some light soil. You don't want your soil to be too heavy on your potatoes. Okay, so now I have a label that says potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and put this label on. Put the date that I planted, three, seven. So I'll look forward to being able to harvest these around the 7th of, what is this, March, June. Around the 7th of June. So that would be 90 days. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly water this in. Because as I said, we are expecting rain tonight. So it will get watered in some more, but I just wanted to go ahead and just moisten it up some. And I know these potatoes have barely uh, pushed up some growth under, underneath the soil, but I'm going to go ahead and add some of this sand. And some of this potting mix. And I'm just going to cover the leaves that are peeping from underneath the soil. So this is just one less job I have to do later on. And I move my lathe over here so I remember what they said. I got this little sprayer at the dollar, family dollar also. I got it for the plants inside, but I was out here doing some uh, seedlings. And so I ended up leaving it out here. So instead of dragging the holes around this way, I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of this just to moisten it because as I said, it's gonna to rain tonight. Y'all be careful in your garden cause they already out. So I know y'all know what that is. Can y'all see it? I would make it move. But he will made me so mad right now. Although that's just a little garter, but still. He should be somewhere trying to chill right now, enjoy the rest of his winter. But he already out here, getting in the way, aggravating people. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna kill him, but I'm just gonna make him move so y'all can. I hope he don't move back this way though. Is he dead? 
he caught up in the netting, y'all. He is caught. He hung in the netting. I got a netting over there. I got the stick hung in the netting. He is hung in the netting. I didn't know netting would catch these critters like this. I don't know how long he's been there. He might be deceased. And I've been walking all over here. Okay, y'all, I'm fixing to stop grossing y'all out. Okay, all right. I'm fixing to move on to um, planting these red potatoes. Okay, so the next potatoes I'm going to plant are these red norlins. And I'm just going to plant them the same way that I planted the other ones. These are some of the ones that I got from Family Dollar. I'm gonna mend my soil, add some sand, drop the potatoes in and cover them up. Okay, now I'm gonna water those in. Put my label in. Okay, y'all, it has gotten late on me, so I am not going to harvest my broccoli and my uh, Brussels sprouts this evening since I really uh, can't do a lot of cooking anyway, but I was going to just kind of put those in the oven, but I will get those tomorrow. So I hope that y'all have enjoyed the video and that you'll give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.